Well, I'd like to thank Artie Marino and the Angels uh, for this great honor. And it makes me think back uh, in 1962 when I came up. Uh, the, the team we had uh, at the All-Star break, we were in first place. But uh, I talk all the time to my friends Bob Case, who was a clubhouse guy, uh, Scotty Keene, who was our bat boy, and uh, Rob Goldman, that did the book once, the Angels. And uh, the guy that won the first game ever in the history of the Angels was Eli Gerba. And Eli flew out from uh, Alabama tonight to be here. They're up in my suite. And it just makes me all the, all the great memories. But uh, the best memory I have, and he's uh, standing over here to my right, I had 19 wins in uh, 64, and a pitcher's goal should always win 20. In the eighth inning, I'm winning one to nothing, and they had runners on first and third. And Jimmy Hall, who they later traded for me from the Twins, hit a line shot by me, so I know that the score's going to be tied runners on first and third. Bobby Cannot made the greatest play I ever seen in second baseman. He went clear to his right, right with his left hand, slapped the ball back to Jim Fagosi, and he got a double play. Uh, without that play, Bobby, uh, I don't know if I'd have won the Cy Young Award. Or I definitely uh, wouldn't have won 20. But anyway, great, great memories. Uh, Bill Rigney, uh, Marv Grissom, uh, and, and the whole team. So I just want to thank him. I want to congratulate everybody else, and thanks for having me here.